message. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to pause this video. Call your mama. Call your papa. Call your grandmama. Call your granddaddy. Call your uncle. If your uncle is living with you in the same compound, bring him in front of this uh, whatever you're using to view this uh, uh, recording now if none of those people is living with you call them on your phone pause this video like i said call the attention make let everybody tune in and um the good thing about my videos is that i'm always um, i'm always gonna be doing it in our dollars uh, because um there is um, there is this belief that I have that um, the only person who can heal you, the only person who can solve your problem is you. Um, look at it this way. Somebody from, let's say a Chinese, I'm always being very careful not to bring race and all those things into any of my videos. But let's keep it real for once. A Chinese person isn't going to come tell you shit about your village. An English person isn't going to come tell you anything about your village. An Ethiopian is not going to come tell you anything about your village. A South African doesn't know anything about your village. It's only you and your people. You. You is the only one who can heal yourself and solve your problems. That's what I believe. So it is one of the reasons why I'm, why I've taken it upon me to make my videos in our dialect. So be without further delay. I hope so. You don't pause the video. Call all the people where I don't mention. Yeah, your papa, mama, uncle, grandmama, can papa me they come watch because in this video I'm gonna explain diabetics to you in our dialect. I'll be using pigeon, but I'm going to throw in a bibio because I'm a bibio. So, the reason why I'm, I'm focusing and giving so much attention to diabetics is because it is the number one, um, it, 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 it is the number one problem affecting most Nigerians. Most Nigerians suffering, having their legs cut off, having their hands cut off, being on insulin, taking drugs, they are suffering from diabetics and most of them don't even know the, most don't even know that they are suffering from diabetics. So it's the reason why it is, the reason why I'm, I'm always talking about diabetics, I'm always talking about diabetics because if you check most of the diseases, most of the problems we are having is caused by one thing, the food we eat. So today I'm going to explain diabetics to you guys in Nigerian language. So I'm not there waiting to happen. I'm Henry Krakhaus. Welcome to today's episode of um, um I don't know what in today's episode be, but I want to talk about diabetics. I want to explain to now what in diabetics be. And now I go take that. I go start from waiting with the eat. Before I do that, I will pause this video for a minute, okay? <sighs> I've just finished working out and I'm, I'm kind of um, tired, but um, it's not going to stop me from saying what I have to say. I hope so. You don't pause this video. Go call your people. In fact, if you no one pause this video, allow the advert to work or play now, make it play finish. By the time the advert don't finish, all the, those people go down and gather in front of the device where you, they use wash me. <laughs> So maybe we don't waste much time. Maybe we dive into what I get to talk about today. Today, like I talk, I want to talk about, I want to explain to now waiting with diabetics. Waiting with diabetics, maybe we start from the mouth. The mouth, this thing here, where they hear. No say them say this thing fit cost they, they cost too much wahala. So today, sometimes we know they even know how. Your mouth fit put you for wahala. Where be say you self no could believe them. 
The things where you they use your mouth, talk, fit, get you killed sometimes. The things where you they put for your mouth, go kill you sometimes if you know they're careful. And waiting they come out for your mouth, go fit, kill you if you're not careful. So this mouth, now there we go begin from. Now there we go begin from. Face, you could carry food. Anything where we, you know, those things where we they call food these days. You could put that inside mouth. Where we will say some of those things, they may not be food at all. But maybe we not go into that. I want to explain diabetics today. So you could carry that, that thing, something, put from mouth. You could chew them. Sometimes, you know, they even chew them well. Because most of them don't even know how to eat. I could talk about that. You know, all these points, I could they make small, small videos. They talk pick these points they talk about that like how to chew how to eat because most of nano sabi eat most of nano sabi breathe well so all these things needs explanation by the way um make i not forget i'm a student of holistic healing i'm a student of herbal practice i they practice herbalism they practice holistic medicine what in that one mean be say i they use plants heal things i they study plants how plants they work how plants they affect us how plants, they know the, how, who we be as human beings. We are animals. So are they study uh, in the relationship where we, we and nature get. Because believe it or not, we being animals, despite the fact, say, we they wear clothes. Because if you come out that clothes, this thing, this wool for our body, we could reverse to animals. So me, they study the relationship where we and nature get. Because... Um, <clears throat> Because na nation na in creators, so na waiting me to study be that. I'm a student of holistic healing, herbal practice, and everything. All those things, all those things where the people been come our land, can tell us say na voodoo, say na <laughs> say na barbaric practice. Na it be. Anyways, I don't want to go into all that. So when you carry something put for mouth, you eat that thing. You chew them. We call that process eating. So you chew that thing, you swallow that thing. That thing goes, they, you get what they call digestion. Di digestion means, say, as you don't put that thing for mouth, the thing will begin to melt down. The thing will begin to dissolve. Mm? Absorption begins, starts from the mouth. Digestion begins here, for the mouth here. So the things will, will, will begin to break down. Enzymes, where we they call saliva could come out come it could help it could, it could begin the enzymes where we they call saliva which is another name for acid it could come out now those kind of acids we know they burn you well but then go begin they affect the carbon the food where you chew they go begin break the food down here they go begin here immediately you put that thing inside mouth so the thing you could swallow and when you show and finish you feel say you show and finish you could swallow and it could pass through your esophagus digestion could continue it could come enter your stomach now inside your stomach i'm explaining to you waiting diabetics be you waiting the how it takes that after that, I could tell you the symptoms where you could get some things where your body could, you know, some signs where your body could give you before you come develop diabetics. Where be two types, where be two types. Now, they call the first one diabetics one, then they call the second one diabetics two. We get another name, the way they call and put a diabetics, um, uh, um, something, something, one and two. We, we don't want to go into all that because that not confusing. It could begin to confuse you. But we call them how we know them. Diabetics type 1 and diabetics type 2. So when the food, the quote-unquote food, come reach your stomach, inside your stomach, that day, that day, the whole mixing could take place. Look at them like this. You want build house. You could mix cement and water. Be, and then when you mix the cement, now where you they mix your cement, now it be like your stomach. All the mixing, they breaking down the acid. Could come out, come, you know, your, your, your this thing, pancreas could secrete. Uh, it go, it could begin to come, they break down these things. Maybe we just call them acid so that we could understand what it be. You get an, some other names. But we could, we could make them simple. We could keep them simple. Acid. So acid could begin, begin, they break the food down inside your stomach. As the acid don't break the food down, finish. The food could, be, could come out. Enter waiting them called duodenum. 
Now, one small sack track like this, where they go inside your body. Now, 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 inside that duodenum, now in the extraction process, they begin. Extraction process, what do you mean by that? They say, now, they all the nutrients where your body needs to come out. Then go, it gave small, small, hairy, hairy things where they inside that thing, where it be like haze. Where be say, then go, they suck the small micro, this thing, nutrients, where they inside the quote unquote food, where don't they make stop already. They don't become mesh. Like you, they in a factory, you know, when uh, you mix the whole thing finish for the bigger mix, the mixer, you could pass them through, put for something, where could they distribute and they put them for bottles or could they put them for sachet. Then go to seal them, then they go pass for packaging, and then from packaging they go distribute them. You know? So inside your duodenum, now in the whole extraction process, they happen. Now in the nutrients, they happen. Okay. After that, the ones where your body don't need, the nutrients, the things where your body, the waste product, could they move on? Then could they move on? No, be say them bad, oh, but now they left over. Could they move on. you know say as you they eat they move they move things they move things know they stand one place too they move it be like say you they work for factory where we say they give you time to they move things they walk walk things you know you know um, the band could they move the, the band could they move you could they do your part finish if they pass on on another person now waiting they go on inside your body be that so after the extraction inside your duodenum the things could they move the food don't they move they enter is it the small intestine yeah the small intestine i, I, I won't be sure the small intestine you go enter the small intestine now inside the small intestine big trillions of bacteria they inside your it's small intestines where could they make use of those other ones you know they then get their own parts then get waiting then go pick out the chew they help you they produce some gases some gases where they go call hormones you know where go come uh, you know as then they produce as these microbes they eat these fibers these things then could they release then go they poop they pee make a column like that then could they release poop and pee in form of gases and all those things and these gases could they travel all over your body could they affect your the, your, your clans and this your clans you know these gases could they make you do things where be say you know the, 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 now the gases where the microbes they produce now it could affect your mood your mood them could affect how you you know your love life and then they attract a man to a woman all those kind of things see see the more you understand the human body the more you could begin throw away these books make her just talking like that the more you understand your body the more you could throw away textbooks the more you understand how amazing how amazing how beautifully designed your body is the marvelous things your body can do the wonders your body can perform the more you understand that you could see say you know things could they very very like you know could look at the world again the same way where you look at that so when the food don't enter your small intestine the microbes could eat their own release the gas the gases could affect your mood how you happy you are how sad you are how angry you are how, you know those kind of things and then the food could they go through then the leftover go enter your large intestine inside your last in your large intestine bacterials them day too large intestine bacteria as them day to wake or still make use of those things them could they abstract the, the you know the, the water they could they squeeze out the water then could they just they filter the whole thing so now the waste pata, 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 where your body no need again nobody wants them again you could cheat them out now be the poop where you could poop out I don't explain the digestion, this thing, how digestion they happen, Abby. I don't explain that, that one. Okay. Now, remember I talk, say, inside your stomach, they, they, they make sure they happen. Eh? Then they, they could pass some, enter the duodenum, Abby. Good. Now, in the, when the things don't enter your duodenum, eh? your pancreas, you get what they call pancreas. Your pancreas goes, okay. Your pancreas. Inside your pancreas or inside your adrenal, they get 
they it get cells it get them um, cells where they call alpha cells beta cells and delta cells the alpha cells they produce what they call glycogen beta cells then we won't talk about we don't want to talk about alpha cells and delta cells but we focus on the beta cells now the beta cells they produce what they call insulin now this is very important now this is very important and this is where it gets interesting insulin we say remember the extraction process where i talk say they happen inside the aduatinum b now if those extraction they get the things they the people make i use <laughs> make i call them people because these are microorganisms remember talk say these are extraterrestrial alien creatures because if you the way the more you begin to understand your body you could begin to see say you are a very special creature say in fact say you come from outer space say any say the things where they control you they're very very weird so they beings the creatures where they abstract where they know they take these nutrients out they call them mitochondria now these nutrients could they write on the mitochondria now the mitochondria now then they carry these things into your blood now when they put these things inside your blood pancreas could release the beta cells in the pancreas could release what they call insulin the insulins could now work out with the mitochondria the mitochondria could carry this insulin as key they find your cells. Them they inside your blood. Them they ride your blood. You no know, say the reason why your blood they flow inside your body now to carry oxygen, carry oxygen and nutrient, carry oxygen and nutrients. Go give your cells. Okay. Now the mitochondria and the insulin they ride together inside your bloodstream. Them they find your cells. Now for your cells, your cells get things where surround them. Those things, they like jelly, jelly stuff made of sugar. This glycogen thing, we are don't talk about made of sugar. Now, for your, for the mitochondria to be able to drop the nutrients where they don't carry from the quote unquote food where you eat, them could need the insulin will be like a key to break through this layer. The layer will cover your cell. I would not pay attention to me. So the mitochondria could need the insulin to break through the say, the layer where cover your cells for it to be able to drop the nutrient make your cells chop the nutrient so when they are your cells chop the nutrients your cells could begin to produce energy this energy they call them atp meaning adenosine triphosphate adenosine monophosphate that this energy now they make me talk so they will as i talk so the power away me they able to they use the talk now that thing that the atp now it make me able to talk now it make me able to have just finished walking out now it make me able to walk out without that, that atp i no could do none of those things so now don't follow me up to this point that be so the mitochondria needs the insulin to carry the food go drop inside your cells right we don't get that side covered Abby. okay now the process the natural process where nature been put in place been been be like been be say insulin suppose they come out your pancreas suppose they come out insulin a certain quantity at a certain time for your body for the mitochondria to carry not much a certain quantity suppose release for your body to for, for the for the mitochondria to carry make it help the mitochondria go drop nutrients inside your cells process d where nature been put in place how it supposed be it been supposed come out when it come out it could stop it could get break you know, could come out again for another like 12 hours for or for another eight hours or for another 24 hours because why it be like that be say when they when in pancreas don't call release them it's supposed they inside your body after you don't do waiting it's supposed to finish it's supposed come out for your body you could you could either pee them out the the, your kidney could filter them out, you could pee them out, you know, your body could get rid of them. So that the next time where food 
go enter your body again. We could be, we suppose be in like 18 hours, 8 hours or 12 hours. Another small amount of insulin go come out, come help the mitochondria go drop food for your, for your cells again. Now, so nature been programmed to be. That is how it was supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Theoretically, <laughs> we can talk like that. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be released by the pancreas. When, when it don't do its, its job finish, it's supposed to clear your system. After clearing your system, your system supposed day so for like for some hours, in fact for days before another batch of insulin come out come. Now, where problem come happen, come day be say, insulin, the pancreas could they come out the insulin in the morning. Early in the morning, insulin could they your body could carry food, go drop for yourselves. Two hours later, the pancreas could release another insulin. Insulin could come. The new ones will come, could come meet the old ones where they inside your body already. Pay attention. In the evening, your pancreas could release into because anytime you eat anything, anytime you eat anything, insulin could come out. Your body could activate it. Your pancreas could activate it. This thing, insulin could come out. The only thing where you know they go your liver, they pass through all those processes. Now, fruit where you eat. In fact, never the in, in fact, anything where you eat, insulin could come out. Come. Are we paying attention? If I the miss Nyan, I just I've just finished working out. So if I the miss Nyan, I hope so you they pick out some things where they talk so now in the evening your body could release another batch of insulin. This batch of insulin could come meet the insulin from morning. It could come meet the insulin from the afternoon. So now insulin could come day too much inside your body. Remember, say Mother Nature been supposed to make and be like say you it release them in the morning, it could finish its work, could go away. The next time when insulin is supposed to come out again, supposed to be the following morning or in the evening. Just give them time. Make it get may no may make your body get rid of them. Because Naki, now waiting the nine job be that. So now, when your body, you come, they, they, your pancreas, they release this thing because you're eating every two, two hours. You're eating every two, two hours. As time they go, as time they go, from waiting you, they eat. Because some of the things where you, they eat, you get things where you could eat. Where we say, when the things don't digest, finish inside your body, they residue. The residue, the ash, them call them ash, where you could live inside your body, where you could they inside your bloodstream, could either be as acid or alkaline. Acid be say, you know, you know, nah, acid, you, you know, maybe every of them are not waiting acid be. Alkaline be say, like, you know, too hot, you know, it, it, it just day as it's supposed to be alkaline. It could day inside now, so food supposed to be. Now, you suppose go closer to eating food where could leave alkaline ash inside your body. But most of the things where we they eat for Nigeria in particular, they be acid forming food. Meaning, say, we they eat too much starch, carbohydrates, sugar, and processed meat, and all those things. So, when you eat from these things where you eat, no forget, say, these things now don't. Because them be acid, them don't the acid way them don't form inside your body, form inside your body over time, over time, over time. Don't they affect some of the organs where they help you function? Organs like the adrenals. Adrenals are small beans like organs where sit down on top of your kidney, where they for your back, attached to muscles on your back, just above, a little above your waist. Now, these acids don't they affect these things, they cover these things. And when the acids as they don't co cover these things, mucus, your lymphatic, your lymph lymphatic system, where waiting you they call immune system, could release things where these things where we they call mucus. Now the job of the mucus now to go eat the acid because your body being very clever, and I make a talk say when you understand your body. When you understand your body, you could see, say, you are very miraculously created and 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 and, and superstitiously built.
We can talk and like that. So the mucus now to go eat the acid. The mucus is trying to clear the acid because we think acid they do, they burn things. So the mucus is is trying to go calm things down, clear the acid. So mucus could go and anytime mucus they release inside your body, they always carry calcium with. And we think be calcium, your cement is made of calcium. I be calcium, they you know they calcify. When calcium don't come out, it could begin form like block. Abi, so when calcium, you know, go there in the mix, in the mix, it could begin the form, it could begin the copper things, and it could, I could make videos on all those things, okay? And now step by steps. So now, when this insulin come there too much, then come there too much. The one from evening come meet the one from morning. Then come there too much. It could continue over time, continue over time. Then go come day too much. Keys go come day too much. The mitochondria only needs a, just a few keys to enter to penetrate the cells. But the keys stay too much. So them come remain inside your body. Your cells come reject them because your cells don't feed already. They don't need the other ones again. So they come day inside your body with the sugar. Where we say the mitochondria, they carry sugar, but the cells don't feed already. So the cells don't want the sugar again. The sugars could just they flow inside your body. Now it make them call them diabetics, which means sweet pee pee, sweet urine. Now what do you mean by that? So when it day inside your body, now at that time you could pee. When you pee, your pee could they sway, they could they sweet. That time when we sleep small, they say if you want this, whether you get diabetics, go pee. When ants then begin gather, they lick that pee. No say you get diabetics. So now so diabetics form. When the sugar come they inside your bloodstream because they no fit penetrate your this thing your cells again because insulin no they work again your body keeps producing insulin but your cells no need them now they now waiting does that be diabetics nothing else so if you don't they follow me i'm waiting i don't talk so far you go see say the explanation where i don't explain what in this thing be if you want to walk and back you go see say it is very easy to reverse diabetics, to stop diabetics, to heal yourself from diabetics. If you follow waiting, I don't talk, say, just follow them and then begin the walk back waiting, I don't talk so far. You go see, say, steps, you get steps where you supposed to take to solve, to heal you of diabetics. Because why I'm speaking on diabetics, we say most Nigerians are suffering from diabetics. Most Africans are suffering from diabetics and some don't even know because of the things we are eating, because of the things we've been eating, because of what we've been programmed to eat. Nowadays, we are farming fish, farming things, raising chicken, feeding them artificial okay, um, chemical, these things, feeding them chemicals, giving them fertilizers and killing ourselves. And I don't talk, say they blow back, where could come from those things, these things, all those things, where we don't they practice now, it could be enormous. <laughs> Make a token like that. So now, waiting be diabetics, be that. If you don't follow me, you could see, say, you feel, if you walk back, waiting, I don't explain so far in pigeon. You could see, say, the same way where you take cousin. You remember, say, I started here. Say, we could start from the mouth, Abby. So you could also start from the mouth, walk and back to reverse them. Now, I have never suffered diabetics before. I have never suffered any of those things before. But from what I don't learn, what I don't see, what I don't research, now you give me the right to talk about, to, to speak on these things. Because, uh, uh, because I'm a Nigerian and I don't see many Nigerians don't they suffer, they suffer diabetics. Most people don't even know. I could talk, you know, make, I, I could really stress on this. Say, most people don't even know. Most people don't even know, say them get diabetics. And believe me, 90% of you guys will either get diabetics or are pre-diabetics already. Because of what you already eat, gari, fufu, tea, bread, morning, everything, beans, rice and beans, good meat, cow meat, chicken, chip, all those things. Just they mix them up, they eat them. Indomie, shawarma, pizza, everything. So yeah, most of you don't even know. 
So now you know now, now you make people we supposed to like they start to the uh, shed light on these things and let's not uh, be, be using fancy words to speak on these things let's go in, you know let's go at these things using the things you know using our ways let's go at these things our ways so that our people will better understand what we are talking about believe me Let's go at it the easy way so that our people, our mama, papa, because we the target our mama, our parents are dying, man. Our parents are dying. Our grandparents are dying. No one is telling them nothing. Nobody is telling them these things. They don't know these things. They keep eating Gary. They eat early in the morning. But mama could make a huge bowl of fufu in the morning. In the afternoon, a huge bowl of fufu in the afternoon or white rice. In the evening, the same thing. And then maybe sometimes in the evening, after it, the man, after eating this fufu thing, will go out with his friends, eat palm wine, eat good meat. Let's shed light, bring attention. Let's bring attention to these things. You know, let's open our people's minds to these things. And maybe we use our dialects, man. Let's talk about these things our way. Let's help our people. Let's start, you know, let's start preventing. Let me, you know, when we begin to prevent these things, these things is killing our people. These simple, simple things killing our people. In the next video, I could talk about, I could tell on the symptoms. It, because before you get diabetes, before you develop diabetes, you know, before this thing come, <coughs> Come develop into full blown what they call diabetes, your body could give you signs. And in the next video, I will tell you the signs where your body could give you. Until then, stay healthy, eat, <coughs> eat healthy. <coughs> eat healthy. I'm Henry Crackhouse. Like, share, subscribe. If you find any of you know, if you find this kind of video interesting, I beg like, share, and spread the message so that make people just learn. And I know, and I know, say I'm struggling to even speak pigeon. You know, I'm struggling to speak pigeon. Why? Because I want to reach my people, man. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy. I'm Henry Krakow, and I'm out.